Um, that post is going to stay for a while, it's not that old, but these things are a bit of a hodgepodge. Next thing to do is to put the diagonal brace on and that's going to run from this side up here down to that side down there. Remember that as the wire pulls on the, on the post it's going to pull the po post that way and the top rail is in compression and that tends to push this post over. So if we run a wire from up there down to there that'll, uh, that'll stop the post being able to pull that way forms a triangle and that's uh, the way, way the structural work, uh, the lots of structures work, you know what I'm trying to say. So there, the wire will be in tension and the wood will be in compression and uh, the whole thing should stay where it is. The weight of the gate tends to pull the um, post the other direction but um, usually the tension on the wire wins against the um, weight of the gate. The next thing to do is cut a couple of notches in with the chainsaw so the wires don't slide down the post. Got a bit of wire cut to roughly the right length. I don't let go of it. Just go on diagonal at the bottom there, up to the top. Now what I'll do is stretch this as tight as I can by hand, making sure I've got it in the track, in the cutout, which I do. Give it a fold over to hold it there. We're just going to tie a knot. Let's go around three or four times like that. Same on the other side. Again the other farmers will be judging you on this. three times with that if I can that'll do it's not going to go anywhere then we'll just fold those pieces down make it look like we know what we're doing One of the things you're trying to avoid when you're tying knots in wire is dickhead horses come along and if you happen to have a head stall on them or whatever they get on here and they'll hook them on and your horse will be hooked up to the post overnight waiting for you to come and I'll let it undo him. So make it as hard as they can to hook them on. Now the next bit is to tighten this up not sure how much you can see there 
I've got the glare on the screen. Yep. Again, make sure you're still in your slot. You find about the middle of the, the wire between the two posts. You put your pliers in here like that and just start going around. You don't want your pliers in too far or you can't get them out. Now this is like winding up a spring. It doesn't flick back a long way, but as it gets tighter, you're putting a lot of force into it and they're gonna take your teeth out if you slip. So you've got to be really careful with this bit. I've got my head out of the way and I'm making sure I don't let go. I'll just double check I'm still in my slot. Yep. You can just put your wire around the poles and tighten it up with the wire strainer but I always find it's hard to get it to come tight once you take the wire strainers out. It can be done because I've had professional fences do it here. Now if you go too far, you snap it. So stop it. The idea is to stop before you snap it. <laughs> I'll have to do that again. I'll bring you back when it's finished. The knot came out much neater the second time. You can see that. Anyway, let's have another go at that. I think there must have been a flaw in the wire because I normally get it much tighter than that. This is reused wire, it's not new stuff. Halfway in the middle. Around we go. Get my head out of the way. Check I'm still in my little slot. Yep. I'll break another one on stuff because I'm out of wire. <laughs> A little more. One more. Half of one. Okay, that's tight. They're all in the groove. Next I can put the hinges on. Okay, later that very same day, you can see one of my marks there. I've just got my uh, hinge and put it up against the post where I think it's gonna go. And I put a mark here the mark there that's the bolt that I'm going to use I've just picked out a picked out a drill that's roughly the same size as the, the smaller diameter there or the, the bottom of the thread so I'm not forcing too much wood out the way I just drilled a hole in a in that offcut that I had before 
can see here and uh, it's going to go in there and bite its way in that's the plan anyway I always put a bit of grease on these and uh, you find if you put them in dry especially if you've got your your pilot hole a little bit small they'll bind up and you shear off the bolt you think oh come on <laughs> how can you shear off that in a piece of wood believe me you can do it pretty easily I'll whack those in I'm about to run out of power on the phone and uh, on the camera and uh, we'll uh, bring you back that's got the gate on I suppose I should uh, test it looks like a gate Cap's not too bad. Dog will have a bit of a pinch going through there. If they ever straighten that post up, it'll be perfect. Might be a bit of a gap underneath here. At a pinch, they could squeeze their way through under there. I can always put some more gravel there though, which is probably what I'll do. Today I'm putting the wire back on. I'll be straining it up. Um, Working with barbed wire today, I suggest you have your safety glasses, sunglasses, something on to protect your eyes. If this stuff flicks around, um, catches you in the eye, a lot of trouble for no particular reason. Just put your sunnies on. Um, I've got it around the post. We're going to be doing the top wire first. What I do, or what I like to do, is uh, I'll tie it off to the post and then strain it from the middle and uh, tie a knot there. It's much easier than mucking around with your strainer at the post trying to uh, trying to get it all to come tight. So we've got it at about the height we want, maybe a little bit higher. Then what you do is you come underneath, over, over the top and underneath like that, come back around the top here and then go around like that. So we'll get it a fraction tighter, somewhere there. Yeah, somewhere there, and then we'll go around like that, around a couple of times. And then we'll just fold the daggy bit back towards the knot there. And that looks reasonably neat. The other farmers won't point now we'll go down and uh, let's strain this one up. You can see I've drilled a couple of holes in the post there. It's not that easy drilling holes through nice hardwood. If you've got to do it, get yourself a nice new auger bit. These have only got one cutting edge on them and they spin around. The little screw, the little screw on the top here actually pulls the auger bit into the wood. It takes a fair bit of torque on the drill to get it to happen, but a uh, bit of practice, you'll get the hang of it. Maybe we'll do a, uh, a video on drilling wood later on. Here's my bit of wire tied off back there. I'll cut it off out here somewhere off the roll. So I've got plenty to tie a knot. This is the bit that flicks up and gets you in the eyes if you're not careful. So that'll come through there. Like that. Should sit there. Now we'll find our top wire. Our top. That'll be the drop test. You guys have probably seen the drop test before on my videos. So now uh, the plain wire, if I don't do the same thing again, we'll just cut the crap off here.
plain wire on the top at that end, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to be joining it onto the barbed wire here. It's going to be a bit of a trick fitting everything in there. Give you a quick description of my wire strainers. And I can see what I'm doing. These things, they open up like that. You put the wire in the gap. And when you close them, they bite down onto the wire. It's got a nice long chain on it. And as you do the lever action, these things hook onto that chain and you walk it up back and forward. And you've got another, you've got another uh, clamp on this end. I'm going to be a little bit confined in between these two posts here. You see another post there and the other post here. We should be able to get it all to happen, so let's have a go at that. So that bit goes onto the wire. slide it down a bit so we get to use our all of our chain. That'll be a little more. Yeah. Just sit that there for a minute. This one can go on here. I'll see if I can get around the other side so you can watch what I'm doing. So we hook that one onto there, and as we walk along, it holds together better once you get it started, get a bit of tension on it. There we go. <laughs> Okay, once you get it moving a bit, it's much easier to keep it all together. So one link at a time. I'll just check my wire down the other end is in the right place. Just had to move it a little bit. Now, the wire on the other side here is God knows how long, so I'm not going to strain the crap out of it because it'll probably snap. When I said that the other day, it snapped on the very next thing I did. So let's go one more, just for comedy value. That's pretty tight. Now we get to tie a knot in the middle. And you can imagine if we were trying to tie a knot around the fence post at the same time, it's quite awkward. So we'll get that wire as straight as we can. Put a nice bend in that there, and we'll take the top wire across the top here. Put a nice bend in that. Now this is rusty old crap, and it's likely to snap. But I'll, I'll get I'll get the barbed wire tied off first. That'll do for me to get the wire strainer out the way. Run it with my fencing pliers and make a nice knot. Go around there a couple of times, like that. And cut it off about there. Never leave the bits and pieces of shit lying around because We'll end up in the animal's hoofs. Same deal on this one.
there we go so that's nice and tight nice neat knot the other farmers won't point and laugh there's my uh, wire going around the post there yesterday I drilled a hole in this post I was going to pass the wire through and suddenly it's blocked up again the termites have completely filled that up with dirt <laughs> both sides this um, gate post doesn't do much it's an old post that uh, this fence going the other way it meets up here so that chain goes around the gate when I've closed it so it doesn't have to hold much up apart from well nothing at all it just stops the gate from being opened so that post can stay there for a while longer I just thought it was funny that the, the termites have already blocked up that hole it's a nice 20 22 mil hole straight through the post um, so I won't bother drilling the other wires through they, they were going around the post before so they can continue going around just thought that was funny I've gone through and uh, got the rest of the wires on done three more you can see I've tied the bottom ones bottom three up there I got three knots there four if you count the top one they all come out nice and tight I've put a piece of uh, we call it goat wire but it's actually called hinged wire um, across there so the dogs can't get through our front fence is a total of about 900 meters from way up there way down there and uh, the dogs that goat wire or the hinge wire goes all the way along so the dogs can't get out onto the road so we've basically got one huge dog park no cattle at the moment the cattle are over at the neighbor's place eating their grass so that all came out all right it's all back together if I look around here I can see another job waiting to happen. The horizontal bars fallen out of there. It's a little bit post has rotted away on the outside since I made it. Didn't do the square deep enough. But uh, I think the post has still got a fair bit left in the core. So I'll uh, pull it all back together, dig a bit of a bit bigger notch out of that one in my spare time. Just need to give a test now. That seems to work. Where's Yana? She's a good girl. This is the end of the post we cut off the other day. Now you've got to remember to hide your evidence. The other farmers will be snooping around here. They'll see that and they'll know that I've cut the end of the post off and couldn't dig the hole deep enough. So don't forget to hide your evidence. Geez, that's a bit harder than I was expecting. All right, gonna need to show you another trick. Get that to wait there. Go. I've got a feeling it will split much easier the other way. Yep. <laughs> it's all to do with the way the grain holds it together. Just so you know, I'm not a slack ass human. I did finish off the other gate post here. That's the one on the left of my main gate. Put the cross rail back on. Cut out a new notch from the top there. Wired it on so it might last a bit longer. Tensioned up the diagonal. Came out good. Probably last another five years now. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.
Can't really see you. <laughs>